Welcome graduates of the class of 2021. I'm Dr. Linda Fadrizi Williams, the president of Central Penn College, and I am proud to be your master of ceremonies for the day. We will begin our commencement ceremony with the playing of our national anthem. Please rise. Graduates, I know this is not the ceremony you envisioned. I never expected this either, two years in a row to be addressing the graduates with me here on campus and many of you at home. I wish we could have been in person, but as you know, these are ceremonies that have to be planned months in advance, and we didn't know whether or not we'd be able to have people back in campus together. But now that we are so close to our country reopening, I cannot wait for the time that we get together in person. But here we are together virtually today, doing our best to make the most of this current situation. Wherever you are viewing this ceremony, I hope you are surrounded by loved ones, the people who helped you reach this moment of achievement, the people who told you to keep going when you felt like giving up. And I hope you take time to thank them today for all the support that they have provided for you. The world is a difficult place right now. There are a lot of obstacles and difficult situations that people are dealing with, but today, Right here, right now, I don't want you thinking about anything but what you have accomplished. Today is about you. It's about what you've accomplished over these past few years. It's about your future and what you plan on doing this day forward. There is no question about the hard work and discipline that you have put in through your studies at Central Penn College. There's no question about the pride felt by your family and friends your faculty and staff at Central Penn College who watched you tirelessly work to earn this degree and to complete your studies. And add on top of it, the challenges of higher education, doing it during a global pandemic, it's remarkable. While I am gratified at how well you've handled the challenges over these past few years, I cannot say that I am surprised. After all, you are a Central Penn College Knight and Knights are resilient. We know how to adapt, we know how to accept challenges and push through them, and that's exactly what you did. You're graduating in a very difficult time. As we work to completely reopen our country, we are also dealing with the anger and protest over systemic racism, a rise in mental illness, and feelings of isolation. Our world needs graduates like you right now. We need your talent, your insight, your courage, and your compassion. The world needs leadership and strength from your graduating class and knowing so many of you personally as I do, I know you have what it takes. Graduates, this is your moment. Don't be a bystander in your own life waiting for things to happen to you. Go out there and create your own opportunities. I know you have what it takes to inspire the world and I am so very proud of you. So are you ready to get started? Let's begin by inviting our Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Krista Wolf, to address the class of 2021 and to introduce this year's recipient of the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters. And now the college will bestow the time-honored tradition of conferring the Doctor of Humane Letters. This degree is not something that can be earned through scholarly study. It is bestowed on those who have made significant contributions to society throughout their lives. Today, the college would like to recognize a successful Central Penn College alum who is a leader in her field, as well as an amazing essential worker 
whose talents lie in leadership growth, succession management, and organizational development. This year, we will be presenting the Doctor of Humane Letters to Major Crystal Turner Childs, who is an exceptional mentor, servant leader, aunt, and friend to many. Major Childs grew up in North Carolina and later moved to Pennsylvania, where she has become an involved supporter of her community, an active member of Delta Sigma Theta sorority, as well as a leader and innovator in the Boys and Girls Club of Harrisburg. She is also founder and CEO of Eyes Wide Open, a nonprofit group that focuses on connecting physical health to mental health and spiritual well being. Her current workshops include I'm Not Superwoman, Rise Up, A Call to Leadership, and Keep Your Eyes Wide Open. Crystal currently serves as the first African American female Deputy Commissioner of Staff of the Pennsylvania State Police. Major Childs earned her Bachelor's of Science degree in Criminal Justice at Elizabethtown College and a Master's of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership here at Central Penn. Like many of our graduates, Crystal is the first person in her family to earn a college degree. Major Child started her career as a corrections officer at Dauphin County Prison and then progressed to become a state police officer. She was one of five female cadets in her class and the only African-American female. After seven years as a state trooper working in various locales throughout the Commonwealth, Major Child was promoted to corporal and served as a recruitment supervisor, a position that she held for three years. Since then, her career has been an upward trajectory. Over the past 10 years, she has been promoted six times, receiving four upgrades in rank. As a sergeant, she served as the director of the Equal Employment Opportunity Office. After that accomplishment, she was then promoted to lieutenant and executive officer of the Deputy Commissioner of Administration and Professional Responsibility. She did not stop there. She then became the patrol section commander of Troop H. After working with Troop H for two years, she was then promoted to captain and served as the director within the systems process and review division. Then in December, 2018, Crystal was promoted to major and named as the director of the 300 person Bureau of Forensic Services, which is one of the largest divisions in the Pennsylvania State Police. During the course of her 21 year career with the state police, the Harrisburg native has held numerous leadership positions. Yet it's not the thought of personal accolades that drive her, but it's rather the belief in serving others. She has stated that we're all a part of the same team and that her role as the director is to influence others so the team can function at its highest level. Now, it is my pleasure to invite Major Crystal Turner Childs to address the graduating class of 2021 with this year's commencement address. Congratulations and well wishes to all graduates. Please know that earning your degree from Central Penn College is a great accomplishment and should be celebrated. This world needs you and your amazing talent. Remain passionate and purposeful because as wonderful as you are feeling at this moment, there are still obstacles to overcome. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Raise your hand if you've ever felt like there are too many obstacles to overcome. I'll raise my hand. <laughs> Have you ever heard no way too many times and you're just kind of trying to understand why is it that it looks like other people are being able to get the wins and the victories and you're hearing the no's. Well, let me say this to you today. No is not never. When I graduated from Harrisburg High School, not too far from this campus, uh, I was accepted into Indiana University of Pennsylvania. And when I got accepted, I was the first generation to get accepted. And we didn't know much about going to college. We didn't know much about uh, grants and, and uh, receiving loans to pay for college, we were just excited that I was accepted and able to go. And so I went off to Indiana University, not really sure how, knowing if I was going to be able to graduate or how I was going to be able to graduate. Again, we were just happy that I was able to go. 
So freshman year was a difficult one. Freshman year, I was thankful to have a meal plan because we didn't we didn't have a lot of money. And for those of you those of you that have ever experienced a meal plan, it can be a blessing in disguise to know that you're going to get a minimum of three meals a day. So I was thankful for that. But in sophomore year, we didn't have a whole lot of money again, and I didn't have a meal plan. I lived off campus. And so I had to figure out how to live off of five dollars a week. And at that time, I was just thankful that there was a like a for though I'm dating myself for those of you that know an A plus or a, a a like a Wawa or a convenience store, and they would sell two hot dogs for 99 cents, and then you would get a soda to go with it. And so that's how I survived off of five dollars a week. And then I had some friends that were very generous and would allow me to eat off their meal plans every now and then. But when soft, second semester sophomore year came, I didn't have the funds to attend uh, Indiana University of Pennsylvania. And um, try as I might and beg and plead, Indiana University said, if you don't have the tuition, you're gonna have to go home. And so at that moment, Indiana University of Pennsylvania said no. And I had to leave. Uh, uh, IUP and I can't tell you and I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but I still feel the pain of having to leave it was I was embarrassed I was um, humbled and I was just unprepared IUP said no so I came back home to Harrisburg Pennsylvania and I had to get a job and I got a job working as a security guard at Quaker Oats over in Mechanicsburg and I would walk my beat and I was always thinking about how I was going to get back to college and just working because you know bills were mounting up I still had to pay back the loans that I received and so I had to continue to work and then I got a job at Dauphin County Prison but keep in mind as you're working years start to go by it's, you know they start to go by and I got a job at Dauphin County Prison and some more years go by and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna get back to college and I remember working in Dauphin County Prison, and it was a good job. It, it, you know, it paid well, but it was emotionally challenging because you're working inside of a prison and you're not permitted to leave. And you would go in and you would work eight to 16 hour days sometimes. And so it took its toll on me emotionally. And I remember there was an opportunity for a promotion at Dauphin County Prison. And so I took the test and I passed the test and I took the interview and I passed the interview. And when it came time for selection, I wasn't selected. Dauphin County Prison said no. And again, I was, I was hurt and I was humbled. And the years have gone by and I'm still second semester sophomore, essentially, but working in Dauphin County Prison. And so I began to be, I was depressed and I began to gain weight and um, just, taking out my emotions in food and, and still not sure how I was going to get back to college because I wanted to, I, it was my, I was desperate to be that first generation that brought home the bachelor's degree. And so I continue to just keep working and trying to figure it out and wondering what to do. At one point, I didn't realize it, but I had ballooned to over a hundred pounds overweight, which took me to about 240 pounds and I couldn't figure out why my back hurt until I went to the doctor's office and the doctor said, uh, the scale says why your back hurts. And so luckily uh, we had health benefits at Dauphin County Prison and they gave us a free gym membership. So I started to go work out in the gym and it became a passion of mine and I became to really focus. I would get up at 3.30 in the morning to go to the gym because I had to report to Dauphin County Prison at 5.50. And so I'd get up 3.30 in the morning and go work out in the morning. And then in the evenings, I would come back uh, after work at 2 and go back and work out some more. And eventually, I started to lose the weight. And it turned from 30 pounds to 40 to 50 and then 70 pounds. And then all of a sudden, I had, in the midst of my depression, I had taken a, t a test to become a Pennsylvania State Trooper. And if you ever meet me, I'll be able to tell you the story of getting pulled over uh, by a Pennsylvania State Trooper while I was driving up to IUP. I was, yes, I was speeding, I was. And the trooper pulls me over and he gets out of the car and it just felt as if it took forever. So I, I feel you when you, you're wondering why it takes us so long to get to the car. 
this trooper gets out of the vehicle and he steps out and when his feet hit the ground, it was like dust just rolled from the ground, right? And then he steps out and he keeps going up and up and up. And I'm like, this guy is huge. He was like six foot something, but his uniform was immaculate and his hat was just right. And when he comes over to the vehicle and he leans in and he says, ma'am, may I have your license, registration and insurance card? All I heard was ma'am, because no one had ever addressed me as ma'am. And I, I had to ask him again, sir, he said, ma'am, may I have your license, registration, and insurance card? He said it twice. And I, you know, I said, it's in my glove compartment. And I reached over and I handed it to him. And he said to me, if everything checks out with your license and registration card, we'll, we'll issue you a, a citation or a warning. You'll be free to go. Well, I want to tell you, I was praying for a warning because I didn't have a whole lot of money. So... The trooper, I'm looking in my rear view mirror and watching him walk back and I'm like, "Woo, he's fine. He's a nice looking trooper. But <laughs> so he heads back to the car and I'm in the car thinking, Pennsylvania State Police, who are they? I've never seen a Pennsylvania State Trooper before. I grew up in the city of Harrisburg and those were the only police officers I, that I ever uh, encountered. And so as he walks back up to the car, he was so polite and just so respectful. And again, he called me ma'am. He did give me a ticket. So those prayers weren't answered to that that day. But he was so polite. And I remember going back and doing research on the Pennsylvania State Police and finding out that the first African-American entered the state police in 1953, I believe. The first female class was 1972. And so I said, you know, I think I want to be a part of that organization. And so that was a dream of mine to become a Pennsylvania State Trooper. And when I was in Dauphin County Prison, I applied to become a trooper. And after the 70 pound weight loss, a letter comes in the mail and says, hey, you have an opportunity to come and be interviewed for the oral interview for the Pennsylvania State Police. And I was like, whoa, this is awesome. And so I said yes, and I went in for the oral interview and I felt like I did very well. And um, then they said, come back and do the physical agility testing. And Oh my God, thank goodness I had I've been working out and lost 70 pounds because it involved some running and some pull-ups and some push-ups and some sit-ups. I can remember it's all flooding back to me. But I went and I passed that, but there was a body fat test. And the body fat test said that women had to be 24% body fat at that time. And when they came and calibrated my body fat, at that time my body fat was 27%. And so they said, not this time, Crystal. You, you're, you can't continue on in the process. And at that time, the Pennsylvania State Police said no. And I got to tell you, after all the hard work in the gym and the dieting and everything, again, I was hurt and I was depressed and humbled. And I drove, I remember driving down that front hill and I drove straight across the street to the Hershey Creamery and I bought six chocolate chip cookies to drown my sorrow. I surely did. But as I was driving down the roadway and thinking about it, because what I didn't pay attention to is the second thing that the person said to me. It said, not this time, Crystal, but you can come back in 30 days. And if your body fat percentage is 24%, then you move on in the process. So I drove home and I ate those six cookies. I did, and they were very good. And after I ate those six cookies, I called the, the, my friend that I trained with, Todd Hall, and told him, and he says, okay, what time do we get up for the gym tomorrow? He didn't have a pity party for me or anything. He said, what time do we get back to work? And we went back to work. And in 30 days, I lost more weight and more body fat and reported back to the Pennsylvania State Police Academy and went through the full physical agility testing again. And then it came time for the body fat. So here's the test. I get there and I stand up and they're doing the body fat and they pinch. Guess what my body fat was? 22%. On that day, the Pennsylvania State Police said yes. And let me tell you something. Was that an awesome day for me that day? On that day, I went back and they gave me my date to, uh, to report to the academy, which was in two weeks. I reported to the academy. I made it through the academy and graduated in 1998 to become a Pennsylvania State Trooper. But the story doesn't end there because I still did not have my bachelor's degree. 
So I went off and became a trooper and I came back. And while I was in uh, training and making it through the academy, I'm making it through the academy and then becoming a trooper and then working the road and becoming a corporal, I remember I got to get back to bachelor's degree. And so there was an opportunity to attend Elizabethtown College. And so I took it and graduated from Elizabethtown College. And once I got that bachelor's degree, I was like, you know what, I'm not done. I want to get a master's degree as well. And I began looking at programs for a master's degree. And when I started looking at programs, y'all, the it kept coming back to Central Penn. Central Penn was closed. When I engaged with the faculty here and the people in the financial office, every time I called, somebody answered the phone and helped me. And that was the reason why I decided to select Central Penn College because of, not just because of what they offered, a master's degree in organizational leadership, but because the faculty was so engaged and cared about me being successful. Ultimately, that's who you are going to be. You are going to be the people that engage other people and help them to achieve success. No does not mean never. Never forget it, never stop, Never quit fighting. No does not mean never. Thank you. By the authority vested in me under the Secretary of Education in support of the faculty, staff, students, and Central Penn Board of Directors, I present to you the Doctorate of Humane Letters Honoris Causa to Major Crystal Turner Tiles. Major Turner Childs, thank you for those inspiring words and what an incredible inspiration you are to our community. At this time, Ben Lipschutz, the Dean of Business and Professional Studies will recognize our valedictorian and salutatorian of the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Virginia Williams for the introduction. Hi, I'm Benjamin Lipschutz, the Dean of the School of Business and Professional Studies. I have the pleasure of introducing this year's salutatorian and valedictorian. The salutatorian for the class of 2021 is a student graduating with a Bachelor's of Business Administration, Sierra DeWalt. Congratulations. The valedictorian for the class of 2021 is a student graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Sarah Long. I would now like to introduce Sarah Long to give her commencement address. Sarah. Welcome. Friends, teachers, mentors, administrators, and of course, the graduating class of 2021. Today is a day to celebrate, a day of transformation, a day where we are no longer students, but graduates and alumni of Central Penn. It is a day to applaud our triumphs and achievements, and those particularly long nights of studying fueled by caffeine and support from those around us. Though our experiences over the last several years are unique to each of us, we are here united by our accomplishments and our perseverance to earn our degrees. The trek wasn't easy, and if you are anything like me, there were struggles, bouts of exhausted doubt, endless sacrifice, and yes, some tears, but you persevered. We persevered. And we deserve to revel in all we have done, all we have overcome, and everything we have yet to accomplish. College graduation is often viewed as the end of an era, the last chapter in our lives, before the mundane begins. But that's not always true. Earning our degrees was merely the prologue, and the rest of our books have yet to be written. Now we get to write our own stories, conquer new challenges, and make our own way. You are your own author, with the means to choose your journey and write your script. You did that. You earned the right to do so. And for that, you have acquired access to endless choices for your future. 
a future that begins here today. I'll admit, it took me a while to determine what I wanted to say today. I wanted to impart bits of magical wisdom and inspire hope for the unknown that awaits you. However, I cannot do that. Though I stand before you as valedictorian, it is a title I didn't expect and one I nearly turned down. I graduated from high school 20 years ago this June, which probably makes me older than most of you. I didn't graduate then as head of my class, nor was I even in the top of my class. I graduated as an average girl with no direction and no inkling of whom I wanted to become. Yet 20 years later, I stand here with all of you, realizing how my life has changed. I began this endeavor five years ago, determined to educate myself and build a better life, not just for me, but for my family. I wanted, no, I needed to break free of the monotonous cycles that life had become and to show my children that if they truly desire to make something happen in their lives, they can, regardless of their age, regardless of the station in their life. I am sure these ambitions to change, to grow, to lead, or to provide a better future for yourself or those around you are one or many of the motivations you share with me today as we prepare for our future. During my time here, my aspirations morphed and adjusted with each class I took and with each life experience I gained. I came here with one career goal in mind, but today I graduate with an entirely different life goal. Our paths may not be the same, deviating for our individual desires, but we do share the same vital life lesson. Where you are today may not be where you end up tomorrow. And your journey will always be determined by you because you are the novelist of your life, directing the choices that result from obstacles thrown your way. In the poem, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Robert Burns once wrote that no matter how much you plan and schedule and ensure that every brick is laid for a sturdy foundation, things can and often do change. Changes produce growth, and that makes you who you are and who you will become. The choice is yours and always will be. Even if your goals change, and it takes you a little longer to reach that conclusion. As you wait here today, ready to accept your degree, you are most likely already have an outline in place, or even a full understanding of where you want to go as you move forward. While others may leave this ceremony with no plan and with no direction, waiting for their stories to write themselves. Either way, know that your path isn't wrong. It is unique for you, and it will become what you make it, full of opportunity, surprises, laughter, and even unparalleled experiences. So despite wanting to give you that mythical, perfect advice, I do have one thing I would like to impart on you. Remember that it is okay to step off the path before you, it is okay to get lost, and it is okay to lose your way. It is okay to fall, and it is okay to fight your way back to your feet. The journey shapes you. It is how you discover yourself and learn what you are capable of. It is how you manifest your greatness and who you will someday become. After all, what good is a book, a hero, or a heroine without a journey? It isn't a book at all. Thank you friends, and thank you to our families for being with us today and throughout our own lives, including the ones who couldn't be here today. To my parents, I know that I am grateful that you gave me life and raised me to push forward and to persevere, reminding me that it is okay to go for that degree, no matter what age I may be. Thank you to our teachers, to our administrators, not only for dealing with our ridiculous questions, and I know I've made quite a few, 
but also for being the mentors we didn't know we needed. Congratulations, Central Penn graduating class of 2021. Find your truth, find your voice, make some noise, and write your story. Congratulations. It is now time for the Student of the Year Awards. Please welcome Jared Reif, our Dean of Humanities, to award special recognition. Every year, the college identifies exceptional graduates for the Student Commencement Awards. The Student Commencement Awards are five individual awards given to a graduate who has exhibited exceptional effort and contribution to Central Penn College, their peers, and the community at large. The following Student Commencement Awards will be recognized today. First, Legacy Award for Perseverance. The Legacy Award for Perseverance is presented to an individual who is graduating from Central Penn. This student exemplifies what is possible through hard work, determination, and perseverance. This year's Legacy Award for Perseverance is Jody Brown. Student Leadership Award. The Student Leadership Award is presented to an individual who demonstrates the commitment, enthusiasm, and spirit of service exemplified in a modern leader. This year's Student Leadership Award winner is Rafael Mateo Mota. Student Service Award. The Student Service Award is presented to an individual who has shown extraordinary commitment to both campus and community, as well as the community at large. This award is presented to a graduate that has shown commitment to volunteerism and service. This year's Student Service Award winner is Amanda Shaw. Athletics and Activities Award. The Athletics and Activities Award is presented to an individual that balances high academic achievement combined with participation in activities, clubs, or athletics. This award is given to a student who has been a regular participant in campus activities while maintaining a high GPA and has made significant contributions to student life at Central Penn. This year's Athletics and Activities Award winner is Nasheed Green. Military Service Award. The Military Service Award is presented to an individual who demonstrated both academic excellence and commitment to not only his or her scholarship, but also serve and protect our country. This year's Military Service Award winner is Parker Rose. Congratulations to all of our recipients. You have truly made an impact during your time at Central Penn College, and I know you will continue to make an impact out there in the world. At this time, I will turn it over to Ann Bizup, our Dean of Health Sciences, to present the President Todd A. Milano Faculty Excellence Award. Central Penn College faculty members are teachers, leaders, and students centered in their service to the college, and most importantly, to our students. These characteristics define excellence in all the Central Penn faculty. Each year, Central Penn College students submit nominations to recognize a full-time faculty member who is dedicated to teaching and to providing an outstanding educational experience. At commencement, this excellence is recognized for one outstanding faculty member by awarding them the Todd A. Milano Faculty Excellence Award. This year's recipient has made a positive impact on their students and their success here at Central Penn. Receiving this student-driven award is a singular honor and speaks volumes to the academic quality and support provided by our faculty. The faculty member who receives this award supports students as they turn their academic potential into career success. I have had the privilege of working with this year's honoree since they began at Central Penn. This person is dedicated to teaching and to the students, providing them with all the knowledge and skills needed to succeed here at Central Penn and beyond. When the COVID pandemic hit, and everyone needed to find creative ways to teach. This person made an enormous effort to find innovative ways to teach, support, and assess student learning in an online environment that was not only unfamiliar, but challenging and very hands-on curriculum. I can honestly say that I could not be more grateful that I have had the opportunity to know and work with this year's recipient. This year's honorees nomination reads, this professor goes above and beyond to make herself available to her students in support of their academic success. She even responds to needs over the weekend when I would consider that her personal time. 
For me in particular, she has on multiple occasions met with me one-on-one -on -one in her office or via Zoom to address questions regarding class materials I am struggling with. Most recently, she met with me during her office hours when I was feeling very overwhelmed by the demands of our curriculum. She was reassuring and made it a point to communicate that she was only, always available to help us with her class material, material we may be struggling with in other classes, or just to listen when we feel overwhelmed. She has a gift to connect with people that not everyone has. She has a warm, motherly demeanor, but she also expects excellence from her students. The difference I have found with her is that she gives us all the tools she has to offer in order to help us meet that expectation. She is a selfless, positive person, and she prepares as much for her lectures as she expects us to prepare for exams and comps. It is nice to see a professor put in maximal effort to help their students achieve. There is no one more deserving of this award, in my humble opinion. As the Dean of the School of Nursing and Health Science, it is my distinct pleasure to present this year's winner of the Todd A. Milano Faculty Excellence Award to Taylor Lights. Congratulations. I think there are some people here that can make it Thank you, guys. <laughs>Hey graduates, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Time to award the degrees. Families, pay close attention as your graduates will appear on the screen before you and when they do, make sure you scream and shout for them. My name is Keila Allison and I'm graduating with an Associates for Criminal Justice and I did it! Hi, my name is Michaela Anderson and I majored in Applied Science OTA. I would like to thank my family and my friends because I couldn't do it without them. Uh, hello, my name is Miguel Redondo. Uh, I'm graduating with my master's in um, organizational leadership and concentration is financial analysis. Um, I want to thank uh, all my loved ones, uh, my friends and family, and uh, you know, with my fiance and my, my parents as well. My name is Caitlin Ockamp and I'm in the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program. My name is Freddie Barrow, I major in information technology. Thanks to my family, thanks to my friends. Yeah, we did it. Hi, my name is Kaylee Banger. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in information technology, and I wanted to thank my family for all the support they gave me through this process. Hi, my name is Jillian Barrett. Um, I'm graduating with my bachelor's degree in business administration, and I would like to thank my friends and family for their support and all my professors for their support as well. Hi, my name is Sarah Bell. I am graduating with a bachelor's in criminal justice administration. I want to thank everyone who's helped me get as far as I have and I'm looking forward to whatever comes next. Hi, my name is Megan Blumenshine. I'm graduating with my bachelor's in science degree with um, business administration with a concentration in human resources. And I would just like to thank my entire family for supporting me in my college career. Hi, my name is Sean Bolton. I'm graduating with a master's degree in organizational leadership. I just want to thank Karina, Derek, and Tyler uh, for all their support throughout this whole process. Hi, I'm Ashlyn Borman. I'm graduating with an associate in applied science and physical therapy assistant, and I'd like to thank my family and friends. Hi, my name is Jessica Bossman. I'm graduating with a bachelor's of science in informational technology with an emphasis on networking and security. I'm done. I'm Emily Brock, and I'm graduating with my Physical Therapist Assistant Associate's Degree. Hi, my name's Hakeem Carter. I'm graduating with a bachelor's degree in Business Administration and Marketing, and I finally did it. My name is Rafaelina Castro, and I'm graduating with an Associate's Degree in Social Justice, and I made it.
Hello, my name is Brianna Crespo and I'm graduating with a Bachelor's in Criminal Justice Administration. I want to thank my family and friends for all of my support. Hello, my name is Sierra DeWalt. I am graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Accounting and a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration. And I'd like to thank my family for all the support throughout the years and coming to all my athletic events and academic ones too. Go Knights! My name is Robert Diaz and I'm graduating from Central Penn with my Master's in Organizational Leadership. Hi, I'm Tabitha Doherty. I'm graduating with an associate's degree in medical assisting, and I'm graduating with honors, and I'd like to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout this two-year journey. Hi, my name's Caitlin Dries, and I'm graduating with a degree, an associate's degree in applied science and occupational therapy assisting, and I'd like to thank my friends and family for all the support. My name is Jarrell Laquan Edwards. My degree is in business administration, and in my career path, I plan to respect my passions and help make the world a better place. Love. My name is Amanda Ellenberger and I graduated from the OTA program. I want to give a special shout out to my family who has supported me through my whole college experience, to my wonderful roommates and to my classmates who have encouraged me throughout our terms together. Um, my name is Shirley Fields and I'm graduating with my bachelor's in business administration. I want to thank my husband John and my five children for supporting me. Go Knights! Hi, my name is Kat Fisher and I'm graduating with my associate's degree in medical assisting. And from here I'm going to continue on for my RN with Penn State. Hi, my name is Fawn Fix. I am graduating with an Associates in Applied Sciences of um, Occupational Therapy Assistant. Thanks to my family and friends. I did it, Mom. I did it, Grammy. Hi, my name is Marisol Garcia. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Criminal Justice Administration. It's never too late to finish your degree, so go get it. Go night. Hello, my name is Princess Gay, and I'm graduating with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. And I want to thank my parents, my mom and my dad for pushing me through school and um, getting me here. And I'm so excited to be graduating with a bachelor's degree at, Cur at Central Penn College. Hello, my name is Janice Gonzalez, and my degree is legal studies. Um, I did it! <laughs> Hi, my name is Ashley Gordon. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in business administration. Uh, thanks to my mom and dad and all my friends and family for encouraging me through this journey. Hi everybody, my name is Nashi Green. I'm graduating with my bachelor's in business administration. I just want to say I did it for everybody who doubted me. Hi, my name is Elena Griffith and I'm graduating with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice administration. I would like to thank Mr. Uh, Professor Contino and Professor Goebel. They were really helpful and Coach Ubaldo. Hi, my name is Ann Gina Hegeman and I earned my degree, um, bachelor's degree in corporate communications. I look forward to using my degree to further my career and opportunities. And I just wanna thank Central Penn and the staff for making sure that I completed my degree and um, everything went smooth, thanks. Hi, my name is Kristen Henderson and I just graduated with an associate's degree in applied science for occupational therapy assistant. I just want to thank all my friends and family for the support and never giving up and always encouraging me. Hi, my name is Zachary. 
Hoover, uh, graduating with a bachelor's degree in business administration with a concentration in management. I just want to thank my parents, especially my mom, for helping me get through it. Uh, I did it, Mom. Hi, my name is uh, Jeremy Horn. I am graduating this year at 2021 with uh, a bachelor's, uh, magna cum laude, in uh, legal studies. Um, I just recently started a job today with Death Thefts, Pine Kosh, and Murphy as a uh, legal secretary. Um, my goal is uh, to eventually go to law school, either at Widener or Duquesne. Um, these last four years have been completely fantastic. Um, even with the last the last year being so chaotic with everything online, um, things have been kind of easy and, 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 and straightforward uh, toward the end, where I did my did an internship that I truly liked, um, and I'm very thankful for the opportunity to get this degree with uh, a lot of friends and family support uh, along the way. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tiffany Hostler. I'm graduating with an applied science degree in medical assisting. Uh, my future plans are to work in pediatrics, and I currently work full-time in pediatrics at a family care office. Hi, I'm Regina Kimmel. I'm graduating with an associate's in occupational therapy assistant, and I would like to thank my family and friends for all their support. Hello, my name is Tia Kittner. I am graduating with the Master of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership. I'd like to thank all my family and friends, as well as my professors that have supported me on this journey. Go Knights! Hi, I'm Trevor Colton, graduating with an Associates in Physical Therapist Assistant. Uh, thank you, Mom and Dad. Hi, my name is Corolla Slaviv, and I graduated with the degree of Computer Science. I'm finally done. My name is Paige Lambert, and I am graduating with my Bachelor's in Homeland Security Management, and Go Knights! Hi, my name is Sarah Long. I am valedictorian of class of 2021, and I am graduating with a bachelor's in business administration. Hello, my name is Cecilia Lua. I am graduating with an associate's degree in occupational therapy assisting, and I just wanted to thank my family for always supporting me. Hi, my name is Dinara Malave. I'm graduating with my associate's degree in criminal justice, and I'm excited to come back in the fall for my bachelor's. Hi, my name is Mike Mason. I'm graduating with a degree in business administration. Finally finished. Thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. Thanks, Jerrica, Ava, for your support during this time. I'm so happy I'm finished. Hi, my name is Athena Mena. I am graduating with my associate's degree in criminal justice. I plan on coming back in 2022 to get my bachelor's in criminal justice. Hi, my name is Paige Miller. I'm graduating with my bachelor's in information technology with a concentration on networking and security. After graduation, I will continue with my employment with the York County District Attorney's Office and focus on my computer forensic certification through IASIS. Hello, I'm Shelby Miller, and I'm graduating with an associate's in criminal justice. I did it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yvonne Murray. I'm graduating this year with an associate's degree in accounting. I did it. After three years, I finally done it. And thanks to my friends and all my family. Love you all. Hi, I'm Michelle Partenheimer, and I'm graduating with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. And I just want to say thanks to my mom and dad and my grandma for helping me get through college. Michael Pecka, Associates in Science, Computer Information Systems. Hi, my name is Summer Perez. I graduated with my Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. I'd like to thank all of my friends, family, 
and co-workers for all the love and support over the last 20 years. Go Knights! I'm Brian Petcash and I graduated with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Just a shout out to my parents and my family. My name is Jennifer Pierce. I'm graduating with a bachelor's degree of science in business administration. And I am happy to do that. And I want to thank my mom, my dad, my husband, and my three daughters for all their support and all their love through everything and putting up with me through all my studying and fits of crying because I couldn't do it and pushing me and telling me not to quit. I want to thank a teacher I had in eighth grade who always told me never stop, never give up. So I, hearing his voice all the time helped me get through, but I did it, Mom and Dad, love ya. Hello, my name is Lizette Anastasia Andrea Porter. My major is Organizational Leadership Studies. I just want to thank everybody from Central Penn College I also want to send a special thanks to my husband and my daughter and Jim as well. It's been an amazing journey and I just want to say thank you to everyone, all your support, friends and family, and I wish everyone the best to further their education as I did reach my journey. So I want to say thank you again. Hi, my name is Megan Pressler and I'm graduating with my Associate in Occupational Therapy Assistant and I would like to thank my friends and family for all their endless support. Hello, my name is Cole Roberts and um, I'm graduating with an associate's degree in physical therapy assistant, which means no more late night assignments. Hello, my name is Lorraine Robinson. I am graduating with my bachelor's degree in criminal justice and administration. Yay! <laughs> I'm happy, finally. Um, I just want to thank everybody who has been there to help me through it all. Mom, brother, sister, my son. Um, this has been a tough road, but I'm finally here and I couldn't be more happier and more blessed to finally be able to finish and know that I've done something productive with myself as well as with my life. And from here on out to see what, where it's going to take me. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Parker Rose. I received a bachelor's degree in accounting. I want to give a shout out to all my friends, my family, and my professors for their help through my academic journey here at Central Penn College. I also want to give a shout out to my fellow classmates who are graduating class of 2021. Go Knights! Hi, my name is Amanda Shaw. I am graduating Central Penn with my legal studies degree. And being a senior RA has really taught me a lot about leadership and really what it means to help others. And I really enjoyed my time being here. So thank you everyone that has supported me and I love my cats so much because they were my biggest emotional support through this crazy journey of college. Hello, I'm Michael Silvis, and I'm getting a certificate in entrepreneurship and small business. Hello, my name is Joe Sulugo. I graduated with a Bachelor in Criminal Justice Administration. Uh, I just want to thank everybody who got me here today. Uh, we did it. Hi, I'm Tiffany Sloniker. I'm graduating with a degree in Applied Science and Occupational Therapy Assistance. And I would just like to thank my friends and family for all their love and support. I did it! <laughs> Hello, my name is Zach Steiner. I have an associate's degree in Criminal Justice. Look, Mom, I did it. My name is Demetrius Zubetti. I'm going to graduate with a social degree in marketing. Yes, I made it! Okay. My name is Michelle Sorrent. I'm graduating with honors in applied science for medical assisting. I want to thank everybody who got me here, including Gamma Beta Phi and Club Bed. Hi, my name is Meta Sutton. I just graduated with a bachelor's degree in business administration, concentration in human resources, and I just got a job in HR. Yay. 
Hi, my name is Haley Swartz and I'm graduating with my Associates and Occupational Therapy Assistant and I would like to thank my friends and family for their support. My name is Quinise Walker. I graduated with a bachelor's in corporate communication. I want to say thank you to my mom and all my family and friends that helped me on my journey. Congratulations. To me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kira White. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in corporate communications. I just want to give a shout out to my family and friends. Long live the guys. My name is Jenna Weeder. I am graduating with my associate's degree in medical assisting. I have my honors in Gamma Beta Phi, and I would like to thank my parents for helping me and driving me when I have my surgery. Hi, my name is Casey Wire. I'm graduating with an Associates in Physical Therapy Assistant, so I just want to thank my family and friends for helping me along the way. Hi, my name is Lorena Zapata. I'll be graduating with my Bachelor's in Criminal Justice Administration. I'd like to thank my family and friends and also my professors for helping me along this journey. Dr. Wolf, I invite you back up here to confer the 2021 graduates their degrees. By the power vested in me by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Central Penn College Board of Directors, I hereby confer the Master of Professional Studies, Bachelor of Science, Associate in Applied Science, and the Associate in Science degrees upon you with all the rights, honors, and privileges which pertain to that degree. Undergraduate students, using your left hand, you may change the position of your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, 2021 graduates of Central Penn College. Please welcome Michelle Donahue, the president of the Student Government Association to address the graduating class. Congratulations, graduates of 2021. My name is Michelle Donahue, and I'm the current Student Government Association President. Class of 2021, throughout this past year, you faced a lot of adversity. Perhaps that challenged your dreams, passions, and purposes. But you all went above and beyond to keep going. Even when things got tough, you triumphed because you knew that achieving your goals doesn't pause. You've achieved this milestone and there's no going back because you're just going to climb higher. Graduates, you have made it through the eight foot seas. This is just the beginning of a new story. So today, celebrate everything you've achieved here at Central Penn and know that you will always be part of the CPC family. Congratulations. Thank you, Michelle. Now please join me in welcoming our Central Penn College Alumni Association President, Mr. Randy Weir, to address the graduates. My name is Randy Weir, and I am the President of the Alumni Council here at Central Penn College. We work directly with the college administration to advise on ways to keep alumni engaged with their alma mater, support and connect alumni through their careers, and to honor the incredible work Central Penn Knights go on and do for their communities. I want to welcome you as a member of the Central Penn College Alumni Association. This lifelong membership represents your hard work and dedication and offers you numerous opportunities to stay connected with your Central Penn College family. Staying connected is easy. You'll have opportunities to continue learning via webinars, class audits, and use of the library. And the Center for Career Services is just one call or email message away to assist you in updating your resume and keeping your job pursuit skills fresh and effective. And what is the Alumni Association without opportunities to reconnect with old friends, make new ones, and introduce your family to your friends of your college days? Watch for all of these opportunities in your inbox and mailbox very soon. I want to ask you now as graduates of Central Penn College to stay connected with your Alumni Association. Watch for opportunities on our social media channels, our web apps, 
email updates, and print editions of the Pendulum Alumni Magazine coming to your mailbox three times a year. This last year has certainly been one for the record books, but they have provided you with evidence that you have the courage and strength to accomplish anything you commit your heart and mind to. Not only did you earn that diploma, but we have forced you to become IT specialists, homeschool teachers, and trying new hobbies. Begin your membership in our Alumni Association by letting us know where you are in your post-graduation career journey. We want to stay in touch with you, so please send us a note soon at the alumni at centralpen.edu. My name is Randy Weir, class of 76. Welcome to the Central Penn College Alumni Association. At this point in the ceremony, we must take a moment to reflect on your tremendous accomplishments and listen and hopefully sing along to the Central Penn College alma mater. Thank you for attending our virtual commencement ceremony, graduates. Now go out there and do great things. God reserve.